Why play Silas mid? Well, he's got three built-in dashes, his one-shot potential is insane, his high mobility is both great engage and escape, and he pushes hard and roams well. However, he's shorter range than most mages, and heal reduction is very good against him. Silas's passive is after using an ability he gains a charge, which makes his next basic attack deal additional damage in a circle around him. He can store up to three of these at a time, and while he has at least one charge, he gains a massive amount of attack speed, which means these enhanced attacks come out incredibly fast. Silas's Q is a skill shot which throws out two chains at the same time. Enemies hit by a chain take damage and are slowed, and after a short delay, the area where the chains cross over explodes dealing a large chunk of damage. Silas's W is a point and click dash which deals damage and restores health. The amount of health restored is increased the lower Silas's health is. Silas's E has two parts. The first cast causes him to dash a small distance. The second part causes Silas to throw chains. If these hit an enemy, it deals damage, knocks them up, and pulls Silas to that target. As this ability has two parts, it does also proc his passive twice. Silas's ultimate is a point and click ability which allows him to steal an enemy champion's ultimate. Your ultimate has its own cooldown, but you also have a cooldown for each enemy enemy champion, meaning you have to keep changing the ultimate you're stealing, and after stealing an ultimate you have 90 seconds to use it. For combos, you want to dash with E and then use E again, following this, auto attack into Q, auto attack into W, and then spam out the rest of your empowered autos. For matchups, Silas does very well into short range mages who he can easily dash onto and blow up. However, he can struggle against higher mobility champions who can dodge his E and his Q. For runes, take this, you get to conquer it incredibly fast. For build orders, start ring and pots, or shield and pot into tier 2 boots and an everfrost. From here, these are great items before finishing your build with any of these. For skill order, start E, then W, then Q, before maxing W, then E, then Q, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and teleport. Starting the game with Silas, you're looking to keep yourself safe for the first few levels. Take as much farm as you can, but the most important things are keeping your health high and making sure you get all the experience. When you hit level 3 and have access to all your abilities, you can now trade. The amount of distance you can close with both uses of E is ridiculous and gives you very easy engages. This combined with the guaranteed dash and damage on your W, with the follow-up damage on your Q, means these trades absolutely chunk your opponent. If you're able to take this trade without taking too much damage in return, you'll get good control over your lane, forcing your opponent to play much safer. From here, each level up gives you another point in W, which gives you more guaranteed damage and more heal, making your trade stronger and stronger. And when you hit level 6 and get to steal an ultimate, it gives you a huge amount of kill threat. From here, you're a great roamer, so keep pushing out your lane and using your high mobility to gank top and bot, as well as grouping with your team for all objectives. Entering the mid game, Silas is brilliant at split pushing. As soon as your bot lane comes mid, make sure to get yourself into a side lane and push it in for pressure. While you're getting map pressure, if no one responds to you, you, you get a free objective. If they send one person, you can easily hold your own or retreat if you need to. And if they send multiple, you have a large amount of mobility to get yourself away. And of course, if your team gets engaged on, you still have the teleport to take it straight back to a 5v5. In the late game, how you team fight can change drastically depending on which ultimate you steal. Steal a Hecarim or a Mumu ult, you're now your team's engaged. Steal a Zed or Talon ult, you're now an amazing assassin. Always make sure to take the ultimate you want and play around it. However, at the heart of your kit, you are an assassin, so a good default is to wait for the fight to start before dashing on a squishy. Your kit allows you to lock them down, blow them up, and use Zonya's to keep yourself safe.